Hello, today we're going to be learning to install Clackamas Golf Cart Enclosure's Hard Door RXV Enclosure. What you'll first do is unload the package that the enclosure came in. You'll notice that there is a goodie bag and a checklist that came with it. Inside the goodie bag, you'll find six and a half inch tap screws, 550 snaps, a small pop rivet, number eight washers, sticky Velcro, a long split rivet, a four inch bolt, number eight nylock nut, and number eight and a half inch tap screws. You'll also find two black handles, and if you ordered a club cover, you'll find two clamps, a quarter 20 nylock nut, and a quarter 20 one inch screw. The tools you'll need will be a Phillips bit, a 964 drill bit, 516 drill bit, a pair of scissors, a number 3 8 wrench, a number 5 8 wrench, number 11 socket, a number 5 8 socket, a number 916 socket, two drills, one impact drill, one normal drill, and a pop riveter. The enclosure comes with several pieces. You have your lower fill and strip pieces, handhold covers, your sweater basket, your rear curtain, and your two doors. And if you order the club cover, you'll also notice that in there as well. You'll need two pieces of awning rail, one short and one long included in your package. Most importantly, you'll notice that there are six bracket-like pieces of metal. Two will be these angular ones, two L-shaped pieces, two flat pieces, and they shall come in a package labeled left and right. One U-shaped bar, and finally, one tape measure. To start the installation, you're going to need the drill with the Phillips bit in it, a seven and a half inch tap screw, and one of the 550 snaps. You'll start by putting one of the 550 snaps right into the crevice right here along the full of the golf cart. And you'll drill just like that. Next, you'll want to lower your windshield. Once you have your sticky Velcro, you'll wrap it around the bar like so. Then, you'll take your 964 drill bit right here and drill to the inside, right in the middle of the bar. You'll start with your pop riveter gun, two small pop rivets, and two of the washers. You'll insert the pop rivet into the rivet gun and the washer onto the pop riveter. Then you'll simply put it into the hole we drilled and squeeze until you hear a click and then pull away. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we take our tape measure and pull it out to about nine inches. You'll take the small 964 drill bit out of the drill and put in the larger 516 drill bit. Make sure it's tight. Next, you'll come and put the side of the tape measure up against the metal bar and measure five and a half inches and drill into the very first groove. And then hog it out just a little bit. Next, you'll want to take your tape measure and drill and come to the bottom of the cart right here. On every single RX feed, there's this little line right here. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to take your tape measure and put the half inch measurement right on that line and then take a marker or a pencil and put a small marking onto the cart and that's where you'll drill it. You'll take your drill with a 5 16 drill bit in it, place it right on the marking and drill through. You don't want it on the edge or the curve, but maybe a half an inch in from where that curve is and drill all the way through and hog it out a little bit. Next, you'll want to take the 5 16 drill bit out and put back in your Phillips bit. Then you'll want to take another six and a half inch tap screw and 550 snap and 
On your RC, you'll notice there's a small groove that ends right here by this opening on top of the roof. You'll take your pencil and you'll put a small marking there. Then you'll take your snap and drill right through there. And, that and that'll be the first spot for your handhold cover to go on. You'll want to take the skinny side of the handle cover on the back and snap it into place, like so. Next, you'll take the small piece of awning rail and line it up to the inside curve of the sweater basket closest to you and make sure they're about even on both sides. Next, you'll take your drill with the 964 drill bit in it and drill four spots, one in the corner, two in the middle, and then finally one more in the corner on the opposite side. Next, you'll take your pop riveter with four of the long split rivets and insert them one at a time and push through the hole and crank it until you hear the snap. And then you'll continue to do it for each one. Next, you'll take your drill bit on the back of the cart with the sweater basket, you'll see a bolt in the background. You'll take your drill bit and line it with that bolt on the curve of the sweater basket right here and drill right where about where the bolt, right, right about where the bolt is and drill all the way through. Then you'll take your split rivet, a 550, a 550 snap, and your pop riveter and snap it into place just like this until you hear the click. You'll take the long side of the sweater basket and put it onto the snap like there and leave it to hang until we come back to it later. Next, you'll grab your impact drill with the 5 8 socket on it and the 5 8 wrench and take them and on the side of your golf cart, you'll notice two bolts, one at the top here, one at the bottom here. You'll simply want to take these off like so and pull them out. Once you've taken off the nuts in the back completely, you'll pull out the bolt, grab your driver's side, if it's the driver's side, or passenger side, if it's the passenger side, angled bracket bar. You'll take one of the four inch, one of the four inch bolts, push it through the bar, lift here and slide through so that the bolt goes all the way through to the other side. Then you'll take the other one and do the same thing with the bottom piece. Then You'll remove the 5 8 socket from your impact drill and put the 9 16 socket on. Grab the two bolts, the two nuts, grab the two nuts that you loosened from earlier and now move them and put them back onto these bolts and tighten them down. The same way you took them off is the same way you'll put them back on, just using the 9 16 socket instead of the 5 8 one and tighten all the way down securely until this can't move. So next you'll need four of your eight and a half inch machine screws and you'll slide them through the back of the angle shaped bar like so. Next, you'll take your L shaped bracket and simply slide the eight and a half inch machine screws onto it, making sure that the inside of the bar is on the inside of the bracket. Next, you'll need two of your number eight nylock nuts and you'll screw them on to each of the machine screws. Then, take your fill spit and your drill and your 3 8 wrench and simply tighten them up all the way. 
making sure that it's nice and strong. Then, making sure that the two holes in the L-shaped bracket are at the top, you'll slide behind the curved smaller piece and do the same thing with the machine screws, one into each hole. And same thing with the nylock nuts, pushing through and tightening them down until it completely tightened. Similarly to how we took the bolts off in the back, you want to take the front two bolts in the top of your roof off as well, making sure to save both the bolts and the nylock nuts. Place the nylock nuts to the side and grab your U-shaped bar and making sure that the U-shaped bar brackets at the very end are facing upwards, slide one through each hole. Next. Take your nylock nut and begin tightening one on each side. You may have to pull one through if the U-shaped bar pushes it up too far. Once you have them hand tightened enough, you'll take your drill bit with the 5 8 socket and the 5 8 wrench, step outside of the golf cart, place the 5 8 wrench on top where the first hole is, and then the drill where the nylock nut is and tighten and then do the same thing on the other side so next you'll grab your rear curtain and with the reinforcing facing away from you you'll come to the back of the golf cart and simply slide it through the awning rail insert until it's completely threaded and even You'll then want to push the rear curtain around the bars to the inside of the golf cart. And then you'll want to move to the inside of the golf cart. Next, after you've threaded the rear curtain through, you'll simply want to take the rear curtain, pull it up over your U-shaped bar and Velcro it to the other side. And you'll want to do the same with these pieces here, pushing them back behind the seat Pulling up and over and velcroing. Repeat on the other side. Once you have the rear curtain on, we'll move to the back and finish off the sweater basket. So using the 964 drill and, may, and making sure the sweater basket is even along the bottom, you'll come and you'll take a drill, your 964 drill, and drill right here and using the split rivet and a 550 and your pop riveter, you'll rivet this snap in here and snap it into place. Next, you'll take a six and a half inch screw and the fill spit and another 550 snap and you'll snap it along the bottom and the back of the cart like so. Take your six and a half inch tap screw in 550 and keeping it even along the bottom, like so. You'll drill into the plastic and snap it. Next, we'll move to the side and do the same into the side of the cart with these two snaps here. On the side of the, on the, side of the golf cart enclosure of the sweater basket, you'll pull it tight to about where it goes in the bar here, and then taking your six and a half inch tap screw with the 550, you'll drill through and snap. And then do the same for the bottom where it goes. It goes into what we call the boot, or the soft plastic spot here, and then snap there. Coming back to the handle cover, we'll be using three six and a half inch tap screws and three 550 snaps. Making sure that we're even with this snap here, we're going to slide down and mark where this one goes by lifting the snap and putting it right there and snapping it into place. Then, go to the top, 
using a step stool, lift yourself up and place two snaps at the top, making sure that this is tight. Taking our lower filler strip and going to the first snap we put in and a snap on the opposite side, you thread the filler strip underneath and snap it into place. Then grab your six and a half inch tap screw and your 550 and then coming to this side, place a snap right there along the edge. Pulling it tight, you'll place this snap right here and drill into the black plastic part and snap. And then finally, the doors. Grabbing your driver's side door, you'll wanna hold it at the top, bend the wedge to you and grab it in the middle here. One hand at the top, one hand in the middle here. Then, using the five and a half inch hole we drilled earlier and the half inch hole we drilled earlier at the top and bottom, you'll push the door in and using your knee, bend it a little bit until it comes into contact with the bottom hole. Release, and then magnet there, solid. Then coming to the front, you'll move the hook right here back. Push in until you feel the magnet here. Pull the Velcro around, and then taking your two fingers, pull the lip of the fabric back into the hook can go in. Then, taking your scissors, come down to this black shiny piece of the door here and simply cut it, push in, and you're done. If you'd like to adjust the height of the binding at all, you can simply unfold the Velcro here and adjust it to the height you want. And lastly, for the windows, you can zipper them down on both sides and pulling down the Velcro, allow free movement through here. Once you've folded down the window, you can unsnap the straps here and roll up the window and snap it to this strap out here and it'll keep them completely rolled up and you can drive freely. If you don't have the club car cover extension on, Go ahead and end the video here and go enjoy your day golfing. If you do have the club car extension on, I'll show you how to put it on now. So you'll take your long piece of awning rail and making sure that it's even with the outside of the bar on each side, you'll grab your 964 drill bit and your drill and drill a hole through it. Like so. Taking the 964 drill bit, you'll drill a hole into the indentation on the awning rail, all the way through and into the plastic. You'll take your pop riveter and your slit rivet without a 550 snap and pop rivet them in. one at a time, making sure to stay even with the bottom of this groove here. Make sure to bend this even along the groove and drill the final two holes here and here, even spacing throughout. Grab the club cover and slide it through the awning rail keeping your hand here and pulling all the way through until even. Making sure our clamps are in the middle of the black bracket right here. You'll drill with the 964 drill bit first. And then again, after switching it out with the 516 drill bit. Switch the 516 drill bit out. Add your Phillips bit your your quarter by 21 inch bolt and your quarter by 20 nylock nut thread it through the the openings in the clamp into the hole you drill 
and then tighten underneath. Take your number 11 socket, place it onto the bolt underneath, and tighten all the way into a solid and repeat along the other side. Once you have both sides of the clamps firmly tightened down, you'll come to the side, grab the hanging strap and fold it over like so. Taking a six and a half inch tap screw and a 550 snap, you'll drill through the strap and pull up and into the plastic part and tighten. Once you've tightened down both sides, you're completely done with the enclosure. Thank you for considering Clackamas Golf Car Cover. This concludes today's installation.